Good morning, folks. Latest drought look here, showing decreased drought status out west where it was worse. This is due to northward moisture flow from a couple different tropical systems. Got a great before and after show from NASA's Earth Observatory using Landsat 8. Crack down the mountain is visible the whole way, and afterwards you see the debris field and rock newly exposed to the atmosphere. Started the evening news with this last night, and I'll also repeat the recommendation to check out the article in the rest of this video. Got a mega canyon beneath the Greenland ice sheet. The top story from last night was buried behind beautiful Chandra images of Sagittarius A. A Harvard scientist has observed and identified a mechanism for black hole rejection of matter. Less than 1% of captured material comes anywhere close to what those experts call a black hole. 99% is lost to outflow, we might consider a name change. These pointy protrusions here are said to be evidence of the outflow. Significant tropical development has begun off the African coastline. We'll watch as they come west. Counterclockwise driving cloud system encountering the northwest coastline of the Americas. Longtime viewers recognize the power low south of Alaska trying to hold tight for as long as possible. Meanwhile, another low in the north central states is converging air drawn up the leading east edge and cooler, drier air from the north for our severe watch zone tonight. Europe has two zones to watch, the convergence cresting the northern areas and the heat-based pop-up storms near the Mediterranean. Will be the story with high pressure sticking over the continent. In case you can't tell from the movement here, high pressure also remains over Australia, with the low pressure cells forced to keep the dangerous weather to the south. Wallaroo took it bad, I hear. Magnetometers are quiet across the planet and KP is low, but might not be when you look. Four days ago, a big coronal hole faced Earth, setting its speedy stream our way, catching up to slower solar wind particles out ahead of it and bunching them up for a front leading density spike. Confirmed by SOHO, we should expect a major speed ramp all day today. That hole wraps around the solar polar north region, while the next coronal hole enters just south of the solar equator. Size is small and ISWA magnetic connectivity show a fairly weak outward magnetic force. But either way, with it headed in to face Earth, the coronal hole solar wind stream hitting us now, our law of average is still way below normal quake levels for weeks on end, the watch hovers around 5 or 6 from last night. Perhaps you noticed that eruption on the northeastern quadrant? This came from the active region turning in on the north where a backside umbral fracture leaves us with a triple negative sunspot group. It's where Venus magnetically connects to the sun has remained for 24 hours after being highly erratic for a few days. The flare produced was a C8 which is not a major x-ray event but significant enough to produce a large CME. Watch a filament dive into the solar surface before the eruption and resulting hydro flare. Soho Lasco C3 is missing frames as usual, but I believe you can still see a halo eruption. Stereo B demonstrating the power of this blast. I do believe it will give Earth a small to medium impact. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.